but for our first hero, I'm off to Duxford in Cambridgeshire. Now here's one for you. What's the similarity between a Spitfire and a folding buggy? Well, to demonstrate the connection between the two, I'm going to realise one of my life's ambitions. This is a schoolboy's dream. Do you know, I didn't sleep last night thinking about this. <laughs> I really didn't sleep. I'm nervous and I'm excited. One emotion keeps overtaking the other. Wow, I can't wait to go. So what could possibly link this plane to a pushchair? Good morning, Spitfire Golf, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Alpha for pre-flight chair, taxi clearance. Oh, wow, here we go. To find the answer, make sure you watch very carefully as I take off. The way the Spitfire wheels fold up into the wings is an incredible feat of engineering. It was one of the first planes to use this folding mechanism, making it brilliantly aerodynamic. Wow. That is incredible. <laughs> the Spitfire's frame is made from aluminium, this makes it both incredibly strong and light, which is why it was so effective during World War II, and so loved by the Allied pilots. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm shaking. What's the best thing I've done in my life? The very best thing I've done in my life. One of the engineers working on the Spitfire's undercarriage was also a granddad with young grandchildren. You can see where this is going, can't you? His name was Owen McLaren, and I've tracked down his granddaughter to explain more. Well, hello, Alex. Hi there. Who's this? This is Anna. Who Hello, was the Anna. first great grandchild of, of Owen McLaren? Wow, you've got some very important footsteps to follow in, haven't you? So tell me a little bit about your grandfather. He um, saw how my mother and my aunt were struggling um, with the heavy, cumbersome prams that were available at the time. And they were big. Huh? They were, yes. And it's hard to move about. It's heavy. It's heavy. And, and that's when he came up with this brilliant idea of the pushchair. The folding buggy. The clever way that the um, wheels fold up underneath an aeroplane. He used that concept in order to um, make Do a buggy. I actually think all of us basically the same. They're basically the same. Yes. And of course that buggy's so light, isn't it, and easy to use. Here you can see how the mechanics used in a folding buggy are mirrored on the wheels of the Spitfire. I travelled in one identical to this when I was a baby. Um, so I had one of the first ones, well, the first one. And hey-ho, there you go. Nice and easy. The old prams were made with heavy steel. The new buggies were made with the lightweight aluminium used in the Spitfire. And the collapsible mechanism used in the buggy was so advanced, it is still studied at universities. I expect your mother was over the moon with this development. I think being it, one of the first ladies to use it. I'd say it transformed my mother and my aunt's life. You could fold up into a very small space. It could be opened with one hand. Um, Hold, it, it, while it, holding a um, baby in the yeah, other. It, 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 Good point. It totally point. Um, transformed the way, or liberated the way mothers could be with their children. Owen McLaren went into production with the McLaren Baby Buggy 01 in 1967. After 10 years, they were selling over half a million buggies a year. The folding buggy hasn't looked back since. He was amazing. Yeah. He was amazing, wasn't he? Yes, that, and that's what we're celebrating, actually, because not many people know that. So, Grandad McLaren not only made life easier for his children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, but he also made parenting a great deal easier for the rest of us. Today, millions of buggies are sold each year to grateful parents all over the world. And it's all down to the Spitfire and a rather pioneering engineer. I salute you, Owen McLaren, a true British unsung hero.